Oh, guys, check it out. We have another friend. What's up? What's up? Oh my goodness, he's so fast. Oh, it's like a roller coaster. Oh, oh my gosh. Where did he go? What is up, G Squad? We are back today with another video, and this one is gonna be super different than what I've been posting. Today, I'm gonna be going to some tide pools and trying to see what I can get out of them. I'm here in Jupiter, starting it from the PC farm, but we're going solo today. I'm gonna be vlogging it myself. Paul sent me a location, and he said that at the right time of the day, the pools will actually fill up really nicely, and you'll get some really cool fish, maybe some crabs, shrimp, octopus, squid, you name it. Anything can be in these. We're gonna get everything loaded up, head there and see what we can find. Okay, so we just got to the spot and as you can see, it is incredible. The scenery, everything here is beautiful and the tide pools are just on the other side next to the beach. So we're gonna go ahead and walk around, get to them and see what we're working with. All right, let's go. We have made it to the spot. So as you guys may or may not know, if you've seen a tide pool video before, what happens is there's these big rocks on the beach and the waves come up and splash over depending on what the tide is. It leaves these pockets that the rocks create, it leaves them full of water and some of these fish actually get trapped. So we're just gonna go through, check all of these rocks and see what fish were left in these little itty bitty pockets created by the rocks. Ooh, ooh. Check out all of these little pockets that the tide has left behind for our friends to swim around in. They're all full of water. And that is exactly how these little guys get trapped. They come in, they get sucked in by the tide, and then they can't find their way back out. We have found our first friend of the day trapped in this little tide pool in front of me. It's a little lane snapper. Check him out. Oh my gosh. Where did he go? Oh my goodness, he's so fast. Oh my gosh. Where did he go? Let's see if I can catch him. Oh my gosh. This is our very first friend of the day. This little itty bitty lane snapper. Oh, come here little guy. If you look at him, they have beautiful colors on them. Yellow, blue, red, and then they've got this little dot. He definitely does not belong in here. So we're gonna get him back in the ocean, rescue this little guy and get him back on with his day. Oh, no, no, wrong way. No, 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 no. All right, not yet little guy. Boom, there he goes, back to the ocean. All right, let's keep searching. Oh, guys, check it out, we have another friend. Oh, look at him, he's stuck. Let's see if I can pick him up. It looks like a little puffer fish. He's so cute. You guys, this is a little itty bitty puffer fish stuck here and they're super cute. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Oh my goodness. All right, little guy. He was stuck right here in this little itty bitty pocket. We're gonna go ahead and get him back out to the ocean so he can go on with his day. Hold on, little guy. Ah! Oh, no! Oh my goodness. Okay, go. Be free. No. Okay. He can actually get out from there. So when the tide rises again, this is pretty close to the water. We're gonna let him chill there for now. Ah! All right, there he goes. There are tons of little itty bitty fish that come in from the ocean and get stuck in these little pools. And you can actually find anything from crabs, shrimp, octopus, squid, all kinds of different fish. And that is exactly what we're looking for today to see if we can find, and how many we can find, of these little itty bitty fellas stuck up in these rocks. So we're gonna keep searching. Hopefully we can find something really cool. I would love to find a shrimp or a, a crab or something hiding up in these rocks. Let's go. As you can see, there are tons of beautiful fish, but there's also some really, really amazing shells out here. So little crabs actually make these their home. A lot of times you can find them, hermit crabs, other little creatures burrow up in here and use them as their homes. And then when they outgrow them, you find them here on the ocean. Let's get it back in there and hopefully this shell can be used as another home one day. Oh, we found a crab. Sadly, he did not make it and washed up the shore, but we did find one. I don't really think we can release him though, but uh, We'll leave him here to carry out the rest of his life in peace. <laughs> There's a little coconut. I wonder if it tastes any good. It looks good. Let's try. See if we can rip out a piece. All right, you know what they say. You can't knock it till you try it. I gotta decide which flake. This one looks better. We can definitely say we tried it. It's not good, do not recommend that. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, you guys. There's a little fish under here. I don't think you can even see him yet. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get him out. Oh my goodness, he's fast. All right, let's see if I can get him. There we go. Oh my goodness. I think it's a goby. Not exactly sure. If you know, please confirm that down in the comments. Look at the colors though. It reminds me almost of a snake head, if you know what that is. What a beautiful fish. Fast little bugger too, I couldn't hardly catch him. It makes a lot of sense why he would actually be up here. These guys are known to hide in the rocks. So I'm actually gonna put him back down here. This is what he likes to be in. And I'll wait for the tide to come back and sweep him up. Go ahead and get him closer to the water though. Goodbye little guy. <laughs> if you look around, the waves have actually created these little channels and pockets and they all connect to each other and fill each other up with water as the tide rises. It's almost like a little channel system. Guys, we have found another little friend. Hey little guy, let's go ahead and get him out of here. It looks like he's actually trapped. There's nowhere for him to go from this pocket. I'm gonna scoop him up out of here and show you guys. Oh my goodness. Check him out. Oh, he's so cute. Colors on these guys are so cute and when they puff up, they have these big, big puppy dog eyes. I like to call them the ocean puppy. He fell out of my hands, but he's actually in a much better pocket with some current in it. So I'm gonna let him chill here and wait for the tide to come back and get him. It looks like he's safe here. This one leads back out to the ocean. So I'm gonna leave him here to wait for the tide to come back and save him. Come on, go. <laughs> Back to the ocean. Oh, it's like a roller coaster. Go. Oh, there he goes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a natural roller coaster back to the ocean. Whoop. Found a little itty bitty crab, I think, on the side of this rock. Maybe a little hermit crab, so I wanted to pick him off this rock and see. It's definitely not a hermit crab. It is a little itty bitty kind of slug in there. We're gonna go ahead and get him back on the rock, but what a cool little creature. So I was looking all around this bed of shells and I think I have found the coolest colored shell of my entire life on the beach. Red, yellow, I don't even know what would create a shell like this. I'm sad that it's broken, but this has got to be the coolest colored shell I've ever found in my entire life. We've about made it to the end of our journey. The rocks are starting to open up. The pools are getting bigger. We covered a lot of ground all the way down there at the end is where we started and we worked our way all the way up to here. But now we've made it to the end of the rocks. Hey, come here. <laughs> we are back at the PC farm. I wanted to do a quick update on G unit. I just wanted to update you guys on how he's doing. So we're gonna go into the fish building and check up on G unit. What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? So we're back at the pond. Also, Geo's here. Hello, Geo. Hi, everybody. He also got Paul a cichlid, so we're gonna show him off. You have, you don't have a name yet, right? I don't, but I mean, my name's G, your name's G, let's call him GG. <laughs> we got the GG gang in here. <laughs> oh, G unit! He's alive and well, guys. There he is. I think he's one of the biggest ones in here. Oh gosh. That is a wrap for today's video. I could not be any more happy with the way this turned out. We got to see a lot of cool fish. The tide pool view was absolutely beautiful. G unit is happy and healthy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get. <laughs> thank you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace.